Hello everyone and welcome to episode 80 of Let's Play Diablo 2. In this episode, we're going to go through the Ancient Way. And I think this is the second to last tele second to last waypoint in this um, area. So, let's get started, shall we? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I was buying the... Uh, recently, Season of Mist reissued some obscure Black music metal. from a black metal solo project called Iljarn. I think the guy was in uh, a band with Ison and Samoth of Emperor. And don't correct me, d don't um, quote me on that because I could be wrong. I know he is, he is friends with me. Because Ison and Samoth actually did some vocal work for a couple of his demos. Ah. Uh, there's an Iljern thing, um, a um, compilation or something. Uh, no, they, they actually uh, had full length albums. Oh. And, were, like, weren't some of those tracks, like bonus tracks, and they're from like a demo or something? No, but they did re release one of the, his demos on vinyl. Oh. That I I don't have that one, but yeah, I bought their three demos and a T-shirt, bought three albums and a T-shirt. Strength and Anger, uh, self-titled album, and um, Horus Poetry. Yeah, and he actually gave me one of his extra LPs he had. Yeah, for some reason they sent me two copies of which one did they send? Which one did I send you? Strength and Anger. Strength and Anger, yeah. Ariad Summit, that's the next area, so we don't go there yet. Um, yeah, they sent me two copies of Strength and Anger, and I was like, you know what? Dalton would enjoy this. Yeah. <laughs> enjoy I did. So you got a free double LP from Black Metal on vinyl. Oh, yeah. But Season of Mist is an awesome group. Like, they're awesome ru they run game. in Philly. Did you know that? Yeah, relapses too. Um, but when I I bought those three things from them, so they sent me free shit. They sent me uh, an album by a French black metal band called Hegemon, who I had never even heard of. Huh. And it's good, dude. Like I should I'm should have given you a copy of it because it's good yeah. but I didn't I don't know why I didn't but I d didn't probably just never brought it with me and then I they sent me uh, a promo copy of where the corpses sink forever which like, is a Rock Angan Tarek Angren yeah Tarek Angren yeah which is a uh, war themed black metal symphonic black metal um concept album and it's very good. It's like really, really yeah. good. Symphonic stuff. Yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah, I, I, like a lot of people like bitch about all the symphonic black metal and stuff. Like I don't. I think it's really cool. Like how uh, they use those instruments. One guy said they. One guy on Hail to I posted on. I posted them on Hail to Metal once. And this guy bitched about them like these guys suck. And I'm like, well, you. I disagree. <laughs> you, you know. <laughs> He's there's like, keyboards, it sucks, because there's keyboards. And he's like, no, these guys suck, and I'm like, why? He's like, and he was bitching about the symphonic portion, I'm like, well, Emperor has keyboards and symphonic elements too, do they suck? He's like, well, no, Emperor doesn't suck. So then what's your problem with this? Oh, the symphonic portion of it is too loud. <laughs> that was his complaint. He's like, nah. He's like complaining like he's a freaking little schoolgirl or something. Like, I stand me! Stand me! And then he pointed me to some <laughs> other symphonic. I can't remember what it was, but it's stuff I'd heard before. He's like, This is how you make good symphonic black metal. And I was like, I'm done talking to you. <laughs> uh, yeah, these fucker, these fuckers are annoying. Like elitist bullshit. Like, yeah. can you get more elitist bullshit than that? I remember one of my old like, like I used to be friends with this guy on Facebook, who like he used to say like he used to listen to um, Electric Wizard. Like Electric Wizard was like his band. He would like just 
Oh my god, he was like, uh, like how I am with Pig Destroyer, like he was like that with Electric Wizard. Like he yeah, was like they obsessed have with them. people that like just worship them. Yeah, and he's like he was one of those people, and then he was also one of those people who was like, the only way to truly enjoy Electric Wizard is if you smoke weed and listen to the music. I never smoke weed, and I think uh, Electric Wizard's great. I was I was just listening to Dope, Dope Throne freaking earlier today. That song is so fucking awesome, and like I don't, I'm not one of these people that think Electric Wizard's the end all be all doom metal band. Yeah, like, they're not. They're very good, but they're not. Candle Mass and yeah, Candle Mass is really good. Um, fucking Saint Vitus is really good. Saint Vitus, yeah. I really like um, Unholy. I gave you their album, their last album, yeah. Rapture. Would you count Soylent Green as well? Uh, Even though that's that's it's sludgy. Yeah, it's sludgy stuff. They're sludge. Yeah. Crowbar is sludge. Never, I hate God is sludge. I always, I always classify them as like I always classified sludge as just doom metal. Like I don't, I never saw a difference that much. Sludge is usually a lot dirtier. A lot I um, never uglier. I mean, like I listen, like, like I hate God stuff. Like I can see how that can be sludge. Like if, if it's like dirty sounding, because uh, fucking dope six dirty as fuck. It, all of their music is pretty. Yeah, pretty much all of it. Yeah. And yeah, like Soylent Green's a like, grindcore slash sludge. It's like a avant-garde type of sound yeah, to it. Soylent Green's awesome. And as much as I love Go For. And I prefer Goat Whore to Soylent Green. I would love for Ben to take a break from Goat Whore and do a new Soylent Green album. Yeah. What else? Oh, what the fuck what else is here? Oh, they sent me one other album. They sent me, uh... Um, um... It wasn't an album, it was an EP. It was, um... Oh, uh, what the fuck was the name of the band? Um... Confessor. Oh. Was the name of the band. And... Get this. Technical doom metal. Oh, <laughs> That's confessed. How, te how, like, how technical can he be with freaking slow, like, doomy sounding riffs? Like, I don't understand how I can be, like, that technical. I might sound closed minded when I say that, but I don't know how, like, I can't picture that. Yeah, I couldn't picture it either till I heard it, and I was like, okay, I, I get it. Like, how, like, is it, like, so slow? Yeah. Like, how is it, like, the. Oh, listen to the drumming on it. Like the oh, drummer's the drum. really, oh. really good. I was but... just—I was just thinking of the guitar sound. Well, that—that's technical too. Oh, is it like really raw? Is it like really like well-made production-wise? It's pretty good production-wise. I mean, oh, okay. Not too amazing. I mean, this is a poor band that has no fucking money, and one of the members of the band died years ago, and they reunited to do some shows for him and wrote some new music. And I, they sent me a EP uh, called Sour Times. And it's good. I'll have to play a song for you sometime. It's good stuff. Yeah. But I didn't even know technical doom metal was a thing until I yeah, heard that. It's like, I was like, wow, technical doom metal, huh? There's a um, there's a local doom metal band in a town near here that's gonna release their first album soon. That's cool. They're pretty cool. I like doom metal. I yeah, like doom metal a lot. Um, God, I forgot what else I was gonna say. You're gonna say something. Oh, they released uh, the Seven Harmonies of Unknown Truths demo by Iljarn on CD and vinyl. <sighs> And I haven't bought that. I want to go back and buy that. And this is leads it, to a dead end. Is it is it on twelve inch or a seven inch? Is well, it? A, oh, is it, okay. It's a long demo. It's like a thirty minute long demo. Oh, <laughs> seven okay. tracks. Um, not that long. Shorter than a normal CD is. Oh, okay. Seven tracks and uh, Sam off sings on it from Emperor, which is probably why they bothered to release release that one. <sighs> but the funny thing is, I've uploaded that to my YouTube channel, and I uploaded that to my YouTube channel before 
they released that. Damn. I think I think the CD version of it has a bonus track or something. Yeah, probably. And the, it's it's the the uh, final version sold out, unfortunately. Now it's gonna be overpriced on eBay. Oh, I'm sure. I'll just get the CD. That's how Pig Destroyer is. Oh my god. I would love to have gotten that one on vinyl as well, but I didn't even know that they were going to do that one, because they didn't re release that with the first three that I bought. They didn't even... They had two sizes when I was buying um, shirts. Large and extra large. So my shirt doesn't fit me. Oh. Uh. I needed like a 2XL. That would have fit okay. Yeah, like the I, the highest I can wear is extra large. Like even then, it's still kind of baggy. Well, you're fucking tiny, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not fucking tiny. I think most of the size when it comes to shirts comes from my height, though. Cause like uh, there's some shirts like my one Cowboys from Hell shirt is an extra large, but it fits like a freaking medium. Like it fits like a size between medium and large. Like it's like in the middle. Like it's really tight, but it's not really super tight. And also my Injustice for All shirt from 1988 is an extra large, but it fits like a medium. Uh. -huh. I think it's an old ass shirt. And it's rare Shit. too. Shit, dude. Evil urn. I found an evil urn. Greater healing, super healing. I wanted the razor bow. Uh, there, there's monsters down here. But yeah, I'll have to go back and get that whenever I can. Cause I fucking like Eljarn. They yeah. say they're gonna release more of his work. That's good. The guy is a pretentious asshole that legitimately hates, like, all human life. Yeah, that's most of the black metalers from the, the good old Scandinavian part of Europe, though. Yeah, it kind of is. Most of them. <laughs> Either that, or they're like racist as fuck. Yeah, or homophobic as fuck, or national, like for nationalist, socialist as fuck. Yeah, like uh, <laughs> fucking what's his name? Hellhammer is very homophobic. Yeah. Shit, I forgot about the icy cellar. But uh, shit, um. We need to call it. Thank you everybody for watching this episode of Let's Play Diablo 2. Please like, comment, subscribe down below. It would be greatly appreciated. We'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks everybody. Bye. Bye.